In their short lives, these Australian children have endured the brutal Syrian war. Now they're living with their mothers in makeshift detention, surrounded by barbed wire. These camps are some of the worst places in the world to be a child right now. The United Nations has written to the government listing 16 Australian women and 30 children who they say are living in conditions that meet the standard of torture. Many have urgent health issues, including shrapnel in the head, that cannot be removed in the camps. It goes on to highlight the complete lack of steps taken by the government to undo the sheer obliteration of the rights of these Australian citizens. There's no question if an Australian child dies in these camps, it could have been prevented and it could have been prevented by an act of the Australian government. Kamal Debussy's daughter Mariam and her three children are on the UN's list. She'd gone at gunpoint into Syria. Her husband had forced her across, along with my then granddaughter. Coercion, trafficking, for, being forced across is a common story amongst all the women. Several other nations have brought women and children home from Syria in recent months. The Australian government says it addresses repatriation on a case-by-case -case basis, and the safety of Australians domestically has to be considered. Mr Debussy says the women have volunteered to be monitored so they can come home. There's no evidence that they've done anything wrong, yet they've, they've agreed to, to, these, to this offer. Any sort of risks can be mitigated. Holding out hope he'll be reunited with his daughter and grandchildren soon. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News.